For this question, we are asked to explain how a prototype may be different to the final product. To start with, as I read the question, I began to highlight the key words for this question. Firstly, our command word, explain, which we know means to give reasons why, to make suggestions why. We know that prototypes are full-sized versions, initial versions of the product which has been designed, which is often used for development purposes, for testing and for feedback from others. We know that the keyword different means not the same, and therefore, essentially, this question is asking us to explain the difference between the initial version which is created as the prototype and the final product which goes out to the clients. This question is worth six marks. Therefore, we must make at least six points within our explanation. I want to start by letting the examiner know that I know what a prototype is. So I'm going to start with the sentence that Prototypes are typically made as one-off products, whilst the final product may be made in larger quantities. This is so that, as we have already said, then the designers or manufacturers can test the product and gain feedback on the product. However, as often only one is made as the initial prototype, this means that the manufacturing processes or materials may differ to what they would when the final products are made. Likewise, if we're using different processes or materials, then this means that the prototype may not have exactly the identical properties to the final product. So now that we have our answer, it's best to read through it. And as we read through it, we can tick or make a small mark or just a note in our head how many marks that we have. So, prototypes are typically made as one-off products. That would be one mark, whilst the final product may be made in larger quantities. That is the second mark. This means that the manufacturing process or materials may differ due to the one-off nature of prototypes. That would be mark three and mark four. Due to the small quantity being made, the prototype may not have identical properties to the final product. And that gave us point five and point six, which means we have answered the question with the full amount of marks available.